Muddy Waters have been the market leaders as far as specialist bobbins are concerned for quite a few years now. I know that because I actually had a set of the original ones, first ones he ever made. Nice little clear ones. I've still got them at home actually, they're a bit scratched up, but I've kept hold of them anyway. So he's still going and he's produced an awesome range of little bits and bobs. Depends what you like really. Um, there really is something for everyone, especially all you tackle tarts out there. So we've got loads of bits and bobs here to have a look at. I'll just quickly run through it. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Some nice chains here to start with. Now, as I say, these are available in a, a range of different colours. You've got the black one, the silver one, and then you've got the black ends or the silver ends. Obviously the black, sort of that nice sort of dark stealthy look. Um, a lot of people liking the black thing these days. As far as bobbins are concerned, got loads of different shapes and sizes and colours too. I mean, if you have a look here, got a nice purple, lovely blue, PTFE white, PTFE black, which has got the holes in there so you can see the isolites through that. Um, nice yellow, red and the old clear, which is one of my favourites, to be honest with you. Always favoured those. The actual clip that's incorporated into these bobbins, again, this is one of uh, Muddy Water's designs. Basically, you've got two different options. You can either have it with a line running through the hole, which um, you move the little rubber up there, so that you've got, you basically that adjusts the tension of the two balls there, which is great, because obviously if you're using braid or using fine line or thicker line, you may need to uh, adjust that. So that's got that option there. Or if you pull this sleeve down, what you've also got in there is the little clinger, and that actually grips onto your line, so your line can't move through it, a lot of people think that that gives them a much better indication. Um, again, I think it's just what you prefer, really. I actually prefer it for going through the balls as opposed to being clipped on. Well, I mentioned the isolites. That's the uh, Muddy Waters ones. They're available in various different sizes um, and different colours as well. So whatever you want, it's there for you. Moving on, got a few other little bits and pieces here. Um, nice little hockey sticks. They're available in stainless or in your nice stealthy black plastic. Obviously it's a lot lighter. Um, I think it's more about the look than the weight because it's not going to make that much difference, is it? <laughs> There's a little conversion kit. So if you've got other people's uh, hockey sticks, you can convert them so that they work on, with muddy waters. Um, again, same with the bobbins. The clips are available separately. So if you wanted to incorporate them onto your bobbins that you've already got, you can. And then O-rings, now such a simple little product, but these things save a hell of a lot of stress. In fact, I'm going to put these ones on my setup when we're done here because when you're trying to tighten up your uh, buzz bars and everything else, if you haven't got an O-ring on there, quite often it can just loosen itself and everything wants to move about. You put it in your bag and you take it out and everything's really loose. So if you've got O-rings on there, it just keeps it nice and snug, and nice and tight. I mentioned the ball chains, but there's two other types of indicator setups. We've so got the corded one, nice black cord, really good for when you're fishing a light sensitive setup, especially when coupled with one of them tiny little bobbins. And the other one is the flexi arm system. Nice little system this, literally just pushes on to your uh, hockey stick, like so, and then you've got yourself a nice little swinger arm, which look really cool once they're on the rods. That's the shorter version, and then there's a longer version too. As I say, this is just a selection from the Muddy Waters Bits and Bobs. If you wanted to check out the full range, you'll need to go on their website. It's also worth keeping in touch with them on Facebook and Twitter, etc. I've been reliably informed that they're going to be bringing out some rather interesting products over the next year or so, so well worth keeping an eye out for them.